if somebody mentioned to me five years ago that I was going to couch surf in Quetzaltenango, Guatemala and stay at a stranger's house for three nights first of all i'd be like uh where exactly and second of all no chance you got a wrong person but that's exactly what i'm doing right now super random adventure <laughs> today is the finals of guatemalan football championship and it just happens to be here in shela where i am right now and the team of shela is playing against Andy. there are only 11,000 seats on the stadium and all the tickets were gone immediately and obviously some people took advantage of it they bought a lot of them for 200 guitarists and they're selling them for 500 which is 65 dollars but i'm okay with one of the reasons why i'm really motivated and happy to go is that mm, stefan will be there this person that i never met and <laughs> who I talked to on Instagram once. I'm very excited, very, very excited. Um, yeah, let's go watch football. <laughs> I got one for 350. Wow, they keep the town very clean during the game, I see. Hi, are you Stefan? Hey! <laughs> I'm strongly convinced that we were the only non-Guatemalan people on the stadium. People were looking and pointing at us constantly. Pretty soon though, the atmosphere sucked us in and we became one of them. The Super Chivas needed three goals because they lost 2-0 the first game. And there was the first miracle. Then the second one. And the final victory was ours. Así es, aquí tenemos al Everyone was out in the street celebrating the triumph they were waiting for 11 years. It was a fun night to be out. <laughs> I did not do much after this. The original reason for my coming to Shela, aka Quetzaltenango, was to do a three-day trek from Shela to Lake Atitlan. But after the Acatenango hike, I was so worn out that I did not want to take another step with my backpack. So I asked Chris to let me stay with her for three nights instead of one, and luckily she agreed. Chris is a very busy individual, works as a therapist and a yoga teacher and does a very few time consuming side projects. So unfortunately we didn't get a chance to hang out a lot. She did take me to a much needed yoga class though. After the class we all ate breakfast together, me, a 28 year old traveler, Chris who moved from Barcelona, a 42 year old Austrian lady who works in waste management here in Guatemala and a local hospital worker. So we all had such different backgrounds which made the conversation very interesting. I absolutely love meeting the people who objectively know so much more about this life than I do. Older and wiser, that's my favorite type of people to meet on the road. I'm flying from this town to Flores, which I usually don't do. I'd rather take a bus or a train or whatever it is. But the roads in Guatemala are zigzagging. It makes me extremely, extremely sick. And I need like two days to recover from this nausea <laughs> that I have. And I just wanted to show you how tiny this airport is. It's the tiniest airport I've ever seen in my life. In Flores, I'm also gonna couch surf. My host promised me to pick me up from the airport. And I really appreciate that. Excited to see another town of Guatemala. I really like like them they're very small and crazy it is way high 
hotter here. The same night we went out to eat dinner and this is the last time both you and I see Luis. He had his big boss visiting from New York and could not find a minute to hang out. But that's okay, I'm still very very grateful for his hospitality. Good morning, welcome to my cute little room, which is very hot, maybe you see it on my face. It overlooks the lake. Look how cute this place is! I want to wake up for the sunrise today because sunrise is from there, but I couldn't. It's 37 degrees right now, which is uh, this many Fahrenheit, but it's not gonna stop me to explore the town. I'll show you the rest of the place. So this is the living room. And my host is a veterinarian. He mostly treats the wildlife. This is my personal bathroom. Very comfortable and clean. And this is the kitchen. Isn't this beautiful? Flores is a little bit more expensive than the rest of Guatemala because it's a little bit more touristy. It's very small, like a tiny island. I think in one hour you can walk everywhere. And it's like a restaurant, hotel, hostel, restaurant, coffee shop. Obviously there's some locals too, like my host, for example, he works in an NGO here. He's extremely knowledgeable about the environment, animals and humans and nature. And we talked a lot yesterday. A few interesting things that he told me about this place is that actually it's an artificial island. The different towns that border the lake had different things to offer to each other. And it was a little bit inconvenient going from one town into another and then another so they made this tiny island in the middle where people could bring their stuff probably this was like a big market which i find very very interesting kind of like reminded me of the idea of venice in italy anyway i'm ready to put all the sunscreen <laughs> that i have on my face and on my body and go out to have some breakfast and then hopefully explore as much as i can I came to the animal rescue center to check out some wildlife, but apparently you can only, only access it through the water. <laughs> and there are no like boats here that I can rent. And the dogs are barking at me. <laughs> no. Maybe I'll see some tuk-tuk on the way. I still like this little town very much. It's like hell, but a beautiful one, you know? I'm absolutely craving a frozen smoothie bowl right now, and I found a place that has some. Can't wait. <laughs> exactly what I needed. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is my first time kayaking. When the boats are getting closer, I am freaking out. Look how beautiful the sunset is. I'm literally holding my phone with my feet. I wish you could see how ridiculous I am. Just saw a boat passing by. I didn't want them to see me. <laughs> holding my phone with my big toes. <laughs> Hopefully I make it. I'm very afraid of falling. But part of me kind of wishes to fall because it's still very, very hot. Even though I waited until 6 p.m. to come out. I know how to turn. That I know. Look. Did you see that? Professional. Oh. The 
sun is down and it got all quiet and so beautiful right now. You know, my host, Luis, he told me once you stay alone with the lake, you will appreciate it more. And here I am alone in this huge lake. And I'm loving it. It's so pretty. I wish you could see this. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.